We're also tracking shares of Bags Heels and Bags today. Mm -hmm. Tapestry is jumping after the company raised its profit outlook. Despite a slowdown of luxury purchases in the U.S., the coach handbag maker saw demand rebound in China and saw overall net sales climb 5%. We talk about some of the rebound and companies in retail and perhaps this could be or offer at least a little bit of a precursor to the rest of some of the retail earnings that are still set to come. How they're navigating a consumer in China that is ready or where they had cited pent up demand mm -hmm. and if that is actually carrying through right now as it is for Tapestry. Yeah, it does seem to be. So we've got Coach, we've got Kate Spade uh, and Stuart we've got Weitzman, Stuart Weitzman. Yeah. They're the three main. The China sales were up about 20 percent in constant currency. So that is really to what the company is attributing the beat this quarter. And it says a, uh, revenue is going to be about $6.7 billion for its annual forecast. It's the, the second time it's raised its uh, forecast for the full year over the past three months. So just ratcheting up expectations. And as we look to the read through for retail, I think obviously the read through would be to the higher end of retail, mm -hmm. to China um, exposed retail as well. So we're going to be watching those types of companies very closely. I mean, I yeah. I almost even bought some some Tiffany Air Force Ones during the the first yeah. quarter. Yeah, well, there was that's a, a more of an LVMH. Play, yeah, LVMH, we'll, yeah, but and but the but the high way. end, I would say. Right, right, is what it. Nothing but high end for for Bradley. Nah, I mean, look, man, I still shop anywhere. <laughs> I was at Target yesterday.